Well, the champs are home less than 24 hours after winning the Division II National Championship. Ferris State returned to West Michigan. Mike Lissette was there to greet them at a private airport in Grand Rapids this afternoon. Hi there, Mike. Yeah, hi, Elena. As the team stepped off the plane, it was apparent one important member of the squad was missing. That would be Tony Anise, who decided to fly to Florida to be with his family rather than fly back to West Michigan. Now, he clearly deserves a little vacation, but so does the rest of his team. It was a late night. It just kept getting later, later, as we heard. In fact, several players said they didn't get any sleep until 7 this morning, then got up about an hour later to get on the flight. Now, there was no complaining. This was a weekend and a special team no one will ever forget. These guys are incredible as far as their work ethic and their desire to compete and, and their attention to detail and caring about each other and doing the things that it takes to be successful, and, and I'm just elated for them all. They are a special group that made history first ever championship for Ferris State. Now, in case you're wondering, there will be no big celebration in Big Rapids this week for the Bulldogs. The university says it has no plans to honor them before the end of the year. They instead want to wait until the entire student body gets back from winter break in January. All right, thanks so much, Mike. Congratulations to them.